With the recent destruction and cancellation of Hazard Zone, I, it really made me think about how they were talking about the campaign before the game came out and how it's not necessary because we have three multiplayer modes that will keep being updated and that the campaign would just be play once and never come back and that they also struggle at campaigns. What I find ironic is that Battlefield 2042 has had its own cancel. So they could have had a campaign mode instead of has its own. I don't think anyone would be shedding tears. You cannot get a game in has its own. If you can, show me please, because I have a whole video dedicated to waiting an hour for a has its own match. And we've got a battle total of four players. But what if we did have a Battlefield campaign? What should be in it? I don't mind the story of having these expats and then having the two warring nations that are fighting for resources. That is fine, but I feel like that belonged more in a campaign than in the multiplayer where they said that the story was going to be displayed throughout the game. What they could have done, all those specialists could have had a mission on each. It's like the war stories or something and use those locations that the game has already made maps around, obviously change it, but then build the story of the resource wars. Kind of like how beginning of the Fallout universe starts when, you know, you have the Russians, the Chinese invading Alaska to try and get oil, the last reserves of oil in the world. Stuff like that. So, what could be an option for them? If they really want to go down the way of expats then they could totally just do a bunch of missions based around them trying to get out of their predicament so say the US government's promising them amnesty or whatever if they can complete these missions it's still kind of weird though that you just have a bunch of cities that are like fighting each other and stuff like that but it is possible to make a compelling story and it's really simple honestly we can just start off have them fighting over oil reserves you can have the ones that are fighting for America because we know uh, in all the video games the Russians will always be uh, like seen as the bad guys. So you have the you can play as experts uh, fighting for the Americans and just show the struggles they go through, the world they live in. We saw like all those boats that are just harbored in the middle of the ocean, or you can have these like slums in these broken down cities, and then you can show like how well off the Americans are. So they come in and they're like fancy helicopters, all that stuff, and just hand a mission over to them. I've still been just trying to think how we can make this sound compelling the campaign because in all honesty the whole story that they've given us is kind of weird. They've gone like the climate change route and talked about how all of Europe's been destroyed and stuff like that but I don't know it doesn't it doesn't work it doesn't work for me. I'm not sure if it's for you guys and I'm just trying to think about how they could pull off something that makes sense. But yeah, it's talking about the people who have been affected by that war and then having them go out on missions to do it. So for example, we could have like a port raid, try and capture some valuable like minerals. Like you want to make it accurate, like you can have batteries, they're trying to get lithium ion batteries and stuff like that. That's going to be rare in the future or they can be attacking a bloody cargo ship that has oil on it weapons, stuff like that, and that would be a thousand times better than whatever the hell Hazard Zone gave us. And especially now that it's been cancelled, they have no justification as to why they shouldn't have done the campaign, apart from that they are bad at making COD campaigns. But they are bad at making campaigns. But it's interesting, if you had the chance, go back in time when they were just making this game and be given the option campaign or hazard zone what would you choose choose hazard zone with the promise of oh tons of updates because this game's gonna be around for 10 years or would you choose the campaign know that it might not be the best but give it a right go and then see if that kind of gives a lasting image because really a campaign i know it's only a one play and dump for most people but it just gives the game some sort of face makes it Gives it a big selling point. There's a lot of people that just play like for single player. Also a good version like tutorial into the game to see. Also helps people who don't even play campaigns but they watch walkthroughs and stuff like that and make decisions on the game. I just feel like a campaign would have been a thousand times better than what we have now. Let me know what you think. Has a zone or campaign? I'll see you guys next time. Peace.